So what I want to do in this video is I want to show you how to get the same results that we got in the previous videos in eViews. And if you remember, we had a y dependent variable and x1, x2 variables. We plotted this data with y on the vertical axis and x1 on the horizontal axis. And we found earlier that my chow test for a break in point 12 is 168. And we saw that already with Stata and SAS. Now we're going to go to eViews. So let us open eViews. The first thing I need to do is I need to open a the data in eView. So I'm going to say file, import, import from file. And I'm going to go to the location of my file, which is in C. And I'm going to choose the name of the file. You're going to go to your own location where you hold the data, Chow test. And I'm simply going to press finish. We're going to see in a future video how we can do this with a code. So if I press finish, I have the data in front of me. I can highlight all of them using control right click and open as group if i want to see them now if i want to look at the data if i want to view the data in a graph i can simply highlight variable y right click and say open selected and then i'm going to click view graph and i can ask for a simple line graph and as you can see we can observe the structural break at point 12 that we saw earlier in Excel and we estimated a child test of 168. So let us close this and now let's go to quick estimate equation and I'm going to have a new window where I'm going to have to write first my dependent variable y and then my constant which I'm going to name c0 and then x1 and x2 for the variables that need to be included using least squares method. So I'm going to press OK. These are going to be the same results that we got earlier. However, what I'm interested in here is to get the child test. So I'm going to go to View, Stability Diagnostics, Child Breakpoint Test. And here I'm going to have to define the breakpoint. And in my case, the breakpoint, as you can see here in the data on the left-hand side, is point number 12. If I had dated observations, I would put the date or the number of the observations. So I'm just going to press 12. I'm going to say OK. And as you can see, the F statistic here is 168. I get exactly the same results that I got earlier using Excel, SAS, and Stata. Now, another way that we can do this is we can write a short code, a short program. So I can say File, New program. I have already created the program down here. If I want to run a regression, I'm going to have to tell eViews I, I want to estimate a least squares equation with y as my dependent variable, c0 as a constant, and x1, x2 as the independent variables. And then I'm going to have to put the name chow for the chow test and the breakpoint. So I'm going to highlight all of that and press run. And I'm simply going to press OK. And as you can see over here, I get exactly the same results that I got earlier. 168 is the F statistic, the probability value with 3 degrees of freedom in the numerator and 14 degrees of freedom in the denominator is 0. So it is statistically significant. We reject the null hypothesis, which as you can see over here, is that no breaks at specified breakpoints. So we reject the null hypothesis of no, no break in favor of uh, a break in period in observation number 12.